Hey, let's uh, talk royal news now. And Buckingham Palace has criticised the madness of social media as conspiracy theories have abounded about the Princess of Wales's health online after she underwent abdominal surgery more than six weeks ago. She hasn't been seen since. Also, Prince Andrew is fearing being back in the news. Joining me now to discuss this is editor of Majesty magazine and author of the new uh, biography of uh, King Charles and the late Queen, my mother and I, Ingrid Seward. Thank you so much for joining us, Ingrid. Thank you. Um, let's talk, first of all, about Prince Andrew, because the front page of Sunday Mirror yesterday is saying that Prince Andrew faces a fresh court bombshell. Um, this is new questions over his support for his paedophile friend Jeffrey Epstein uh, with the release of shock, well, shocking release of court papers. Uh, these are court papers which will, by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill allowing this grand jury testimony going all the way back to the 2006 probe into sex trafficking by Jeffrey Epstein. He was able to do an incredibly sweetheart deal. There were some 40 women and girls who came forward saying they'd been sex trafficked by him and used by him. Um, and, and yet it was able to be, bar you know, lobbied down and plead, plead bargain down to just sort of one case. He ended up serving, we got a two year sentence, ending up serving only less than a year behind bars. Most of that he was on day release anyway. Um, and it's understood that Prince Andrew basically gave a testimony on his behalf and urged the authorities to give him that plea deal carried on staying friends with him afterwards. If that testimony comes out, that's the end of Prince Andrew, isn't it? I do totally agree with you, Julia. I think that it would be so damaging if it was revealed, if, if, because we don't know yet, that, that uh, the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, whatever you would like to call him, had pleaded on Geoffrey Epstein's behalf um, and actually helped prevent him having a stiffer sentence. Um, I'm sure that Epstein got, got all his powerful friends to lobby on his behalf. And we, we don't know if Andrew is involved or not. We, we do know that Andrew saw him afterwards, yeah. after he'd been released. Stayed at his from, house. Yeah, stayed in his house in, in New York, which is where those uh, rather incriminating photographs were taking of him sort of peeking around the door. But this is so damaging. And especially for young younger people who may not, you know, know much about Prince Andrew and may not know that he was once, you know, a hero. He, he was a hero of the Falklands War. Yeah. Um, they won't know any of that. And they just see him... Uh, you know, they just see him for well, what they read. He's, about well, he's, him now. he's a man who's friends with paedophiles and, and, and pays millions of pounds to a woman he claims never to have met, who claims she raped him. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, but, you know, that, that's all people are going to know about him. We know we've got that new film version of the interview he did on Newsnight with Emmy Maitlis coming out as well very soon. But it's also bearing in mind that part of that plea bargain, that plea deal, was an extraordinary agreement that none of his associates would ever be facing. Uh, any criminal charges. Of course, one of those associates was Prince Andrew. We shall see what happens there. If that does happen in the coming days, I mean, that is going to explode everywhere. Um, that will, I suppose, at least do away with some of the conspiracy theories, the wild theories uh, all over the internet. Social media will wash them. We're not going to speak about it. I don't want to pander to any of those conspiracy theories about uh, Princess of Wales, Kate. We know she's had abdominal surgery. We know when she had it, where she had it. She's not been seen since then, some six weeks plus ago been various absences of other royals as well, including her husband from his own godfather's memorial service. Big concerns about the state of her health. But is the palace wrong to, to not give more information, feeding those conspiracy theorists? Or do they have a right, as I'm sure you and I agree, they have a right to privacy about their health? Well, I think I, th I think that Kate has a right to privacy about her health. I don't think any woman w would necessarily want to publicise uh, you know, some health problems that she's had. Anything to do with her abdominal surgery is very, very private. And I think that the trouble was what happened on social media was, was when uh, the Prince of Wales, William, sort of backed out of his godfather, King Constancy's memorial service, with sort of 45 minutes before the service was due to start. That's what started all of this yeah. off because they thought, well, you know, maybe something's wrong with Kate. Why don't we know? Why haven't we seen her? And the palace said, but look, we said you wouldn't see her, you know, until probably after Easter. And they've always said that. Mm. But it doesn't stop these rumours happening. I think that really there's not very much you can do about them except um, ignore them, because there's going to be rumours 
whatever yeah. happens. I mean, exactly. If there she, are rumours when she's in the news every day. The thing is, we did get used to the point, and I was, was taking the mic when I was doing newspaper reviews, you know, that it's virtually the law now. There has to be a picture of Kate in a new outfit on the front page of virtually every newspaper every single day. They were very ubiquitous. But now the royal family has gone down to this much more slimmed-down royal family without all the sort of the random extras who, you know, were living in Kensington Palace for years. And it's just gone, you know, no Prince Harry and Duchess of Sussex and no Prince Andrew, that actually there are aren't many to go round, and while the king's being treated for cancer and Kate out of action, Prince of Wales out of action for quite some time while looking after her and the children early on uh, in her recovery, you know, there aren't many to go round, and this leaves something of a vacuum, and as we know, these vacuums have a habit of getting filled with chitter-chatter. Well, absolutely, but this, is, this was King Charles's, uh, his ultimate aim was always to have a slim down monarchy. He felt there were too many royals uh, doing too many things uh, and being a burden to the taxpayer. So he thought he would he would definitely slim it down. And he said this years ago. Mm. And I think he's right. And I think that we don't need to see, well, although it'd be lovely for all of uh, people like me, but other people don't need to see uh, various royals doing so many things. I think keeping it to the core of the family is a very good idea but of course then when one or two of them drop out it is much more noticeable but um they they've been fairly open with us the palace much more open than they used to be that's that's certain yeah the trouble is of course it's never open enough for some people is it you know, claims, no, well, you know, well, about... Once you start being open, then people want more and more, obviously. That's, yeah. that's human nature. Yeah, absolutely. We shall see what happens in the coming weeks. Thank you very much, Ingrid Seward, editor of Majesty magazine, author of My Mother and I about Prince... Uh, sorry, King Charles. Still, you, you can't... You've had 50 years of saying that, haven't you? Um, Sam Armstrong, still in the studio, just a brief word. I mean, conspiracy theories, I don't want to go into any of them because I don't want to fuel them at all. It's understandable, but should the palace be more open or should they have just not told us anything at all? Well, look, I I feel very sorry for Kate, not least because we've also had the news this morning that her uncle is on his way to Celebrity yeah. Big Brother. Stay classy. Apparently got a right old ear bashing from her mum. Quite right too. Yeah. I, I have a real problem with these family You're a nobody members, other so, than you're yes. related to her. Why? Why do that to your niece? Yeah, she's recovering in hospital from or at home from a really, whatever it is, is, is clearly a major surgery. And this is really the last thing they need. I just, these people everywhere. As I you know. know. Every family's got one. Well, exactly. We know Dutch of Sussex has got one. Exactly as well. Thank you very much indeed. I very much appreciate that.